Do your kids have a ton of character toys that you just don't know what to do with them all? I'm going to show you 15 different activities you can do with all those character toys to get your kids playing with a purpose. Hi everybody. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and on this channel I share tips and advice for doing preschool at home and encouraging your kids to play with purpose. If that sounds like something you'd like to watch on a regular basis, then please consider subscribing. I recently had a subscriber ask if I could share my character toy collection. I thought I would include that in this video. So either at the beginning or the end of the video, I will share with you each and every character toy that I have. And I'm going to show you different ways that you can get your kids playing with them and learning at the same time. So the first activity we're going to do is just sorting the different stories. So you can just grab a bunch of different characters and have them sort out uh, the characters according to which story they go to. So here's all the Ninja Turtles. Then we have all the Mickey Mouse characters. Then we have all the Monster Zeke characters together. So that'll be a really simple activity for the little ones just to sort the different stories. So one of the main activities you can do is pulling out your characters for each story or movie or TV show that you're watching. And so this is really why I started collecting character toys was for this exact purpose. Unfortunately, my kids have no interest in doing this. <laughs> I had a vision in my mind when I was pregnant that this is how we would spend our time with collecting toys and playing with them, and neither of my boys had any interest in doing this. But hopefully your kids do. And so this is definitely a fun activity to do. So we have step into reading books uh, like this that we can pull out our toys for. And then we also have these fun Disney Infinity books where they um, kind of mix a bunch of different characters together in one story. So if you were to have some characters, it would be fun to pull them out if you could. And so I really love this activity. I wish my boys were more into it like me. The next activity is going to be a bit of a broad subject, but we're going to sort categories. So this can be done in so many different ways. So the first example is going to be sorting between heroes and villains. So we're going to put all the good guys on one side and all the bad guys on the other side. So there we go. This is a great one for your superhero comic book lovers out there. Another example would be to sort between people and their pets. Again, there's so many different ones that you can do. These are just the examples that I am showing you. So definitely a super simple sorting activity. The next activity we can do is a size sorting activity. So I pulled out my size sorting file folder game here. I just have pieces of construction paper of different sizes. And so then you could just take your characters and sort them according to their sizes. So we have large figures over here, small up here, and our medium sized over here. For the next activity, we are going to sort between the different habitats. So all I did was grab some of our color sorting mats here and so I grabbed one for the ocean, for safari animals, and for the snow. So now we'll just sort the characters for where you would find them. So now I have the characters sorted. So we have Finding Dory characters in the ocean. We have Lion Guard characters in the safari. And we have our uh, Rudolph Christmas Story characters in the snow. The next activity is going to use our color sorting mats again, and we are going to sort colors. And so you can do this with any of the characters. You don't have to have them all for one story, but I went ahead and pulled out the ones for Paw Patrol just for the sake of being fun. So now I'm going to sort the different Paw Patrol characters where they go. So this is another fun activity for your younger kiddos to sort out their colors. Another activity we could use with our Lightning McQueen Cars 
character toys is if you have multiples of your characters, then you can do a matching activity. So as you can see here, we have somehow accumulated many of the different Lightning McQueen characters here. And so this is, again, another easy one for your younger kiddos. The next thing you can do with your character toys is to use them as manipulatives in your counting activities. So here is just a page for 10 frames to work your way up to 20. And so then we will use these as our counting manipulatives to make a certain number. So let's say we're going to make the number 7. So again, this is another fun way to use your character toys. We are going to do another sorting activity, this time between how many legs your characters have. So I went ahead and pulled out the good dinosaur characters because they had some different varieties of legs here. So we have four legs on one side and two legs on the other. So we're doing a lot of sorting activities, but I think all the different variations are pretty fun. Another sorting activity we are going to do is between plastic figures and metal figures. So we have several of these metal characters here. You could hear that. Um, these, a lot of these came from Target or they've even been having the superhero ones at Dollar Tree lately. So then we can sort between the different material of the figures. So all of our plastic figures on one side and all of our metal figures on the other. So again, another twist on a sorting activity. Next, I have characters from Lightning McQueen cars and I have Thomas the Train characters. And so what we're going to do now is sort between the different types of vehicles that we have. So as you can see, we have a boat, we have some planes and helicopters, we have some construction looking type vehicles, we have regular cars, and then we have some trains. So this is a great one for your vehicle loving children. So the next activity I wanted to talk about is using our Angry Birds characters. I figured since I have this particular set of characters, why not recreate the Angry Birds app on your phone? So in that game, they have stacks of blocks that you have to knock down and things like that. So why not incorporate our wooden blocks and kind of make our own live version of the game? And so you can do this as a STEM activity to where you have to build the towers. You can even uh, pre-draw out towers that you want your child to make to see if they can build it, or they can do it by themselves and have fun um, just playing the game in a live version with your character toys. Another thing you can do using any of your characters, it doesn't have to be Angry Birds, is working on preposition words. So build a tower or something that you want to build with your blocks, and then let's work on your preposition words. So can you put the yellow bird under the tower? Can you put the uh, two birds on top of the tower without dropping it? Can you put the black one behind the tower? Um, and really work on those preposition words. Next, we're going to do an alphabet match of our characters. So I'm going to take as many characters as I can to fill in our alphabet chart here. So Randall would go on R, Lammy goes on L, Violet on V, so forth and so on until we complete the whole thing. So I just happen to have enough characters for each letter of the alphabet. I'm so excited. There's a couple of them I had to take some creative liberty with, but that's okay. Like Harley Quinn and then Baymax has an X at the end of his name. We're going to make it work, you guys. But I have something for each letter. How exciting is that? So you might not be able to do this, but I can. So I'm going to do this activity. Along the same lines as the Disney Infinity books where they mix characters together in one story, I think it would be a lot of fun to mix a bunch of different characters inside of a bag or pillowcase or whatever you have um, for the child to then reach in, kind of like your story cubes that you roll and you have to create your own story depending on what you roll. Um, same thing with this. You pull out a character at a time and let's start creating a story and seeing how these different characters would interact. For instance, Goofy was at the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and he ran into Iron Man. Iron Man was trying to save... Oh, I dropped that one. Iron Man was trying to save Branch from the evil... 
Marshall! <laughs> Let's make a crazy story with all the different characters. I think this one is a lot of fun. The last activity we are going to do is one that I've shown before in my Halloween notebooking activities. Um, and this is basically you just fill in the blank sentences, trying to use as many sight words as you can if that's something that you are working on. So uh, we will just plug in the characters for whichever sentence they fit in. So Miles went to space. Uh, Mickey is the best. Go save Stitch from Joker. Dory helped me swim. And I like Poppy very much. Okay, everybody, there are the 15 different activities you can do with your character toys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.